And we're live. Uh, some minor technical difficulties there, but we're good now. Uh, hello, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, thank you for tuning in to the official Naughty Dog Twitch channel. Um, I'm David Ballard, artist here at Naughty Dog. I'm joined by Robert Ryan, uh, game designer at Naughty Dog. Hey. Uh, we'll be hearing a little later on from uh, lead multiplayer game designer Aaron Daly, as well as uh, another game designer, uh, Quentin Cobb. Uh, the four of us have all worked on uh, The Last of Us multiplayer, and we're really excited to tell you about all the new themes coming in our DLC that we're releasing tomorrow. Um, to, uh, today we're going to talk about our uh, new map pack, um, Reclaimed Territories, and <clears throat> a few other skill bundles and, and unique skills, uh, as well as our new weapons that we're going to be coming out with uh, today, uh, tomorrow. Uh, we have... Um, yeah, we're going to be showing off uh, the weapons and skills on the new maps there you today. Go. Yes. We're going to go through each map once. We're going to use a, a different type of loadout on each map and, and uh, something that we've kind of catered to how that map generally works. Right. Uh, also, we'll be having a uh, free weapon for everybody across the board, uh, DLC or not, the full auto rifle, which we'll be so, uh, showing off today, too. So, um, <clears throat> so this is our first foray into our, our community outreach uh, through our Twitch stream and such. Uh, please give us a follow. Uh, on the Twitch channel, and uh, please leave your feedback and uh, what you'd like to see different or, or uh, more in the future. Um, if you're not watching this live, head over to the forums at NaughtyDog.com. Uh, leave your feedback on there. Uh, we will be taking a few questions today as well uh, when we have some downtime, so uh, stay tuned. Um, oh, and one last thing we'll be talking about is uh, the new medals that are coming out that will be released tomorrow, too. We'll, trophies. we'll go uh, tr uh, trophies, and we'll be talking about those the, uh, towards the end, so stay tuned for that. So. All right, uh, with that, uh, do we want to go ahead and get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so playing for us to start us off will be uh, Quentin, who will come on to show off his map that he helped design later. Quentin uh, Cobb, a.k.a. Q-Train. <laughs> uh, he's, he's picking up his loadout right now. For the first map, we're going to start off with Capital. It's my little con contribution. Uh, he's starting off with a pretty close-range loadout. Um, Kind of doubling down with a burst rifle and a double barrel shotgun, the new purchasable shotgun, the one point. And uh, he's, he's picked a few new skills to kind of go with that. Executioner is something you get more parts for executing. So close range, you're going to be getting a lot of special executions. It, it's going to help him get parts really quick. And uh, Scavenger 3, which is one of our... Uh, new skills I think is going to help out both new and um, experienced players. It helps you get new or uh, more sorry um, items when you go to the caches. So especially if you're moving around a lot, you'll be getting uh, a few more items. Or if you're doing really well when you normally wouldn't be getting as many items from the caches, you should be getting a little bit of a boost from that. Any any seasoned player. It's from the pickups. Oh, sorry, from the pickups. From the pickups. Kills. Kills. Uh, any seasoned player knows that uh, getting those extra items and stuff is really important for purchase yeah. pools and uh, crafting, of course. Well, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> you get more ammo. Yeah. Ammo. Right, right. We have uh, Eric Monticelli, our community manager, sitting on, on deck to uh, view the stream. So you, any questions you guys do have, uh, are, we are watching and, and, uh, and taking notes. Here we go. So Capital is... Um, it's, it's the Boston Capitol building from the single player. It's Very uh, important location in the single player. Yeah, it's one of the places we really wanted to kind of, it was one of these very iconic uh, scenes, and we kind of really wanted to see how we could get that into the multiplayer. Right. So now the multiplayer uh, version of this is a little bit later down the line. I love this room. Uh, yeah, this is our, our Pillars room, which if anyone has played, no spoilers, but this is where that important moment happens. Uh, so down the line from when that occurs, uh, militaries kind of come in, they, they reworked this area, tried to fortify it a little bit, set up shop here, and it didn't go so well. So they had to pull out, left a whole bunch of supplies, and now the uh, hunters and fireflies are both moving in to collect those supplies. Unfortunately, they get here at the same time, and fighting ensues. This room looks like a really fun gameplay is going to occur a lot. Uh, a lot of like long distance shooting, the pillars are going to have a lot of cool cover and stuff. This room is a little different than, than most other oh, uh, nice. rooms we have in our multiplayer. It's got a lot of good cat and mouse gameplay in there. Right. All right. And then uh, the general idea of how we, how we kind of shaped this map, there's a nice large open area in the center. And the Capitol building wraps around it, uh, giving you 
different rooms and different uh, types of engagements in each room that you can go around. And it creates these nice fronts, thankfully, where battles can keep going for a while and teams can uh, set up and funnel back in to back up their teammates. Do you think uh, there's, there's any like particular uh, position that players are going to fight over for kind of map control at all? Or is that kind of like a, a mo con constantly moving around the map uh, well, kind so of that, situation? That, that little pagoda that uh, kind of just looked at a second ago, the center of the map is an important part, especially in um, survivor mode. Uh, of, of the map because it lets you respond quickly to all corners of the map, but it's also very open. So you can get, if, if you're not aware, mm -hmm. you can get hit from all areas, and that kind of makes the uh, listen mode be pretty important so you can keep that map awareness. Now, is there a centralized location in this map, or is, is that it? That was the centralized location. Okay, so, so that Pagoda is, 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 is basically the center of gotcha. the map. Gotcha. Uh, the rest of the map just wraps around that outside area. Ooh, there's a lot like of guys that. out there. See so if you can pull off that, that bomb kill there. So the room he's in now is still this, this pillars room. Outside where the enemies are fighting is our steps, that kind of flooded steps area where the water has drained out from then. And he did get the kill. Uh, nice. So now he's, he's moving into that kind of open area. You mind looking around out there quick? Sure. There we go. Central, so this is our map. more open area of the map. There's some longer sight lines here. Now he's using a close range weapon, so he's going to be spending a lot of time in the rooms along the sides. But players who have kind of that more sniper-centric or long-range-centric gameplay style probably spend a lot of time outside. Nice. And he's getting you see a lot executions. of that skill bonus from those special executions from his... Scavenger. Uh, right. From uh, oh, Executioner. That's right, yeah. He's getting some more ammo from those pickups too, so he can just keep going and... Uh, He's making really good use of, of his listen mode too. With all these like um, interiors and exterior like you know space going through the light to the dark, the, the yeah. listen mode so is really So because the map is effectively, as I say, again wrapped around the center area, you can get a lot of uh, the map covered in your listen mode because despite the fact you might not be able to get Oof, there quickly, nice. they're still relatively close to you. And you can see them right. in your in your uh, listen mode. And this area here is again one of these different rooms we tried. It's a little, little more open than the other rooms. Right. A little longer. Oh, uh. that was, his, it was, it was a team room. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, so that room he was just in talking about again, again allows for some of those fronts to develop, especially if you are those long range players you want to back up your team. That's the area, another good inside area to do it. Oh, is he gonna? Oh, there you go. Got, he's, he's, got got the enfor he's got the new gun, the Enforcer, out, which is an amazing four-shot kill. Four-shot kill. Four it's kill. Uh, a little more accurate than other pistols, but it also costs a little bit point. Right. Uh, this is going to give him at least a little bit of medium-range support, since he's gone so heavily close range. Right. But it doesn't really look like he needs it. Wow, they just got the whole team. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Great really teamwork. Quick here. Yeah. I'm gonna head outside a little bit and show off the outside area. One of the things I really like about this map is that you're gonna be going from interiors to exteriors, so you get the, the light change a lot, and it's it's kind of kind of mess with players' eyes, like so you won't have this. Uh, it's just like in real life, right? So you won't have like, this perfect clear vision. Uh, you'll get this really moody uh, combat going on when you go in between the interiors and exteriors. You have a good advantage that player uh, teams will use like, when they're in the inside fighting people on the outside and, and uh, back and forth like that. Just the thought, yeah. The uh, the inside outside gameplay gets. Very oh, interesting, especially in some of our other modes. Right. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, come on. He trains off him today. Out. Hey, go out. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Well, this is again. This so this is the end of the lower outdoor area, and this is again. Sight lines are a little little more open. You have to be a little more aware of where the enemies are, so you don't get flanked or shot from the side. Right. Uh, this is. Again, the front of the Capitol building, you see the water is receded. Yeah, I like the, the, the duck, or the, uh, yeah, the, the swan, the swan chair. Float. Yeah. And this is, this gets some nice, this is where a lot of the verticality of our map uh, occurs, fighting up and down the steps, fighting up and down the, the right. hills outside. That's a little different than inside, where you have some more flat ground. Yeah, whoever's going to be up in this area is going to have the advantage. Uh, anybody kind of moving up is going to need to find a flank route around, because pushing up directly is going to be pretty tough. Right here. Oh, that shiv, get that shiv! Oh, oh the revive! <laughs> Does it seem like he saw you? Does his teammate can't help nice. him either. Yeah. Get that shiv, get that shiv! Yeah. Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, the most gratifying thing in all of Last of Us multiplayer. <laughs> the shiv. Yes. So the... Uh, nice. 
Now, does the executioner also give you more shiv parts when you... When you craft the shiv. When you craft the shiv. Right, so we're getting a nice little outdoor front going here. Uh, Eric, do we have any, any questions about this map? Uh, yeah, we keep hearing uh, over and over again to ask you to do what your favorite map is. Oh. Oh boy. Uh, of the new maps. Biased, so okay. I, I worked on this map, so... Uh, what about, what about you? What do, what's your favorite? Oh boy, this is a tough one. I, yeah, I'm gonna say coal mine. Uh, I can't wait till we show off the new coal mine map. Um, I'm a big sniper. It's got some good sniping positions. Uh, a lot of the maps have have different gameplay so from what we tried to do before. Oh. What we tried to do just in this map pack was spread that out. So if you like a certain type of gameplay, there should be a map for you. Yeah, yeah that's one of my favorite things about this map pack. Yeah. Is is okay. uh, right. Uh, each map gives different kind of uh, combat and new multiple uh, new setups and, and uh, kind of combat that happens um, so than, than the previous maps that we've released. They're taking a lot of the lessons of the maps that we've designed, uh, the ones that originally came out and the, the other DLC maps, and uh, built upon them, created these new experiences that will be great for uh, both new players who, who are coming to it and also the advanced players who've been playing for a while. Definitely. So another thing that you just pointed is that. Uh, Escaping in and out, getting getting away right. from conflict, being able to move and use the different rooms to your advantage to do Dragular. that allows you to stay alive a little bit longer. I can't believe he's still alive. He must have. Had, did he have armor? Yeah. He did. Okay, oh, he had armor. Still. Right. Uh, I think this room right here is actually one of the more interesting ones than what we. It's kind of unique. Uh, Ooh, I got it. Got it too. Got this long overview. Uh, upper area that's open but gives you a nice little height advantage. Right. And there's a kind of a sniper room up top that Hurry lets up. you get a good Running view over the room. And uh, it's actually really good in interrogation mode as a defensive position until they start throwing bombs and molotovs inside. There you go. Yeah, there's that, that whole walkway that's up there that, that we haven't really seen gameplay on yet, but there's an entire like kind of advantage mm -hmm. advantage point yeah. that players can get to. It's a kind of a long way to get up to, but you're also kind of exposed a little bit too. Yeah, so they're gonna get a little bit of a cutback going here. Gonna yeah, run out of Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> Another question: Is the double barrel weaker than the regular shotgun? Is the double barrel weaker than the shotgun? Uh, the double barrel is weaker than the the, the main purchase of the shotgun. I think it's on par with the shorty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it costs one loadout point. Comes with no ammo. Whereas the shorty takes up that pistol slot, costs oh. one loadout point. But every um, respawn, you start with ammo. It's also a little cheaper than the heavy shotgun. Right. And did we uh, change any of the sounds of any of the weapons, or are they just hearing the new weapons? So the question, question is, hear do, do we change of, the sounds on the yeah. new weapons? So we're going to hear a lot of new weapons today just being used all over the map. You'll be hearing those sounds intermixed with the old. They didn't change any of the, of the uh, older sounds, so you're just hearing the new ones. So uh, one thing I want to point out is that uh, Naughty Dog is a very collaborative studio. Oh, hey, hey, real quick, this is that, that path I was talking about, that upper route that yeah. you can get to and, and have a good advantage point and uh, flank if anybody if there's a like front down, down there. But. Yeah, it gives you some good coverage outside uh, the doorways. It gives you good coverage in the room. But if someone catches sight of you, there's not a lot of cover up there. You're right. pretty much toast. Uh, but what I was saying is that we're a very collaborative studio. Uh, although we may have one person start out a, a map, we have uh, a lot of people give input. Uh, we have daily tests throughout the entire studio. Uh, anybody's allowed to come and give their feedback. We got the, the climactic fight of the, the match going here. Oh, yeah, we're almost done. Oh, is uh, that bomb? Someone's trying to save his teammate. So, yeah, it's very interesting to see how these maps have evolved and, and uh, gotten better. Uh, oh, Mark. I remember when we were first playing this map a while back, and it's changed a lot, but uh, a lot of the kind of cool core experiences we wanted. Ooh, last one. Nice. Nice. Right, so that and was, that's game. That was our capital map. Wow, C-Train brought it back. 13 downs. 16, 16 executions. Executions. executions steal over here. What's up, Q-Train? <laughs> awesome.